Welcome back. I'm Dan in the Dinosaur Drawer, and today I'm going to be showing you all how to draw Spinosaurus from Jurassic Park 3. So this is not the modern Spinosaurus that walks on all four that um, is all scientific. This is just the regular one from Jurassic Park 3. But I know a lot of you are still a big fan of the old Spinosaurus, as am I. So yeah, this will be a fun drawing. So let's get started. So we're going to first put an outline. So we don't make any mistakes later on during the drawing. So the head will be right about there between these two lines. And then the neck will arch like this. It's going to put in a round oval shape for the body. Then it's got a lot of tail. So we have to be able to fit that in the drawing as well. So in my live stream that I did last week, I noticed that a lot of you guys are big fans of Spinosaurus. I'm a big fan as well, but it's not my favorite dinosaur. My favorite dinosaur is T-Rex, the big rival of Spinosaurus. So yeah, then we'll put the sail will be right about here. This is going to be, the Spinosaurus is in a running stance. So its foot will be right about there. We're going to have this leg lifted up. It's going to have its hands, arms, which are quite long for dinosaur, for theropods. Long neck, not as thick as Tyrannosaur neck, but still strong. They'll have the head with its jaws open. So we're just going to get a basic outline in, so that looks pretty good. The head might be a little long, but yeah, it's looking good. So I'm going to get my eraser. By the way, I'm using a Graph Gear 500 mechanical pencil. I know a lot of you always are asking what type of pencil I'm using, and it's a really great pencil. You can get it on Amazon. That's where I got mine. I'm actually running out of lead to fill it with, so I'm probably going to order some shortly. And this is just a regular eraser that came with the pencil, so it's a good eraser. So yeah, we're going to begin putting some detail in on the jaw right now. Or the upper upper part of the head. So the eye will be right about here. With the eyeball. And put some shading right out here. I'm using watercolor paper right now. Just because I've been recently drawing pencil on watercolor paper and it looked, had a cool effect. So let's put some wrinkles on, under the eyes right about here. It's got a cavity in the back part of its head, so with some shading there. Then another one up front here. So the, the jawline of Spinosaurus is quite strange. It's very crocodilian-like and definitely made for catching fish. Let's put the jaw in like that. Erase the lines we no longer need. See, so yeah, look, Spinosaurus is a relative of Baryonyx and Suchomimus, that family of fish eating dinosaurs. They all have very similar heads. On my channel, I have videos on how to draw Suchomimus and Baryonyx. For some reason, these are very popular dinosaurs amongst you guys, so I hope these this Spinosaurus will satisfy your requests. So we're gonna, right now I'm just adding some scales along the lip here. Put in some scales there. And they will continue along the face. Like so. 
And then after that we can put a little bit of refinement lines along here. And the nose, it's right about here. It's got, like a T-Rex usually you'll have the nose up front, but Spinosaurus for some reason has it back there. And also has a little ornament here. Little crest that sticks out between the eye ridge. Looks like a mini Spinosaurus sail, basically just sticking out there. Put some shading in. I'll put some more refinement lines. We're not going to focus too much on this part because we got to move on to the rest of the body. But yeah, feel free to add skills. You don't have to scale the whole thing in, but just putting a few random skills will make your drawing look superb. Just put some scales in there. So the ear is right about here. Right, right there. I'm going to put the neck arch in there uh, like so. It's like an S shape. And of course we'll have to add the teeth. Spinosaurus has very conical shaped teeth. They get smaller right about here. And then they get much larger. The largest ones will be right about here. Very deadly looking dinosaur. Just gonna shade, or not shade, erase a bit there. So I recently did a drawing of Chris Pratt using, using the same. He was the actor for Owen Grady in Jurassic World. I'm sure a lot of you know that, but here is a picture of it. I was quite pleased with how it turned out. So that's my rendition of Chris Pratt. It actually didn't take me that long. I was surprised. I thought it was going to take me a few days. It just took me about a few hours to complete it. So now let's put in the jawline. It is good to spend some time on the head because that's really the most important part of when, when you're drawing a dinosaur. It's usually the head. So put some shading in. Using cross, has, cross hatching, which is basically just move your pencil in two different directions. It gives it a nice artistic look. We'll make it this line a little darker. So this is the muscle right here that opens and closes the jaw. So put some rendition there and then we can also add in some scales along the lip right here. Basically, these are these are more square type scales instead of like the regular round ones that I'm putting in like right about here. So now we're gonna add in some of the crocodilian teeth here on the bottom. Like so, that's looking pretty good. All the tongue sticking out, like so. Give it a little bit of shading on the bottom there. So I'm planning to do a live stream sometime this weekend. I'm still not sure when. I will notify you guys more about that. Because the last one we did was very... Um, we did Allosaurus, 
versus Stegosaurus. For those of you who have not checked it out, it's very cool. I still have it up on my channel. It's of course not usually as fun to watch a live stream after it's not live. It's because the drawing goes a little slower than in like a normal video. But I answer a lot of you, your guys' questions and stuff like that. So the neck is a little simpler than the head. We're just going to put in some lines that will show where the scales might be. And I have a video on how to draw the level 40 Spinosaurus from Jurassic World the game. And that one's like full of spikes, but this one I'm not going to draw any spikes on it. It's got a vein that goes along the neck here. I messed up there. <laughs> I kind of made it too thick. Just make it look very natural and organic. Like so. Maybe give it a little more shading on the bottom there. Just checking how much time we have left. The camera I use shuts down like at 18 minutes or something. Unless I like, have to like touch, like zoom in or something for it to think that I'm still like videoing. It's kind of annoying. I've tried videoing with the phone. It's okay, but I like doing it with the camera better. So Spinosaurus has a very human-like arm, since it's quite long. Much more human-like than T-Rex, but it's a different... Like, the shoulder is much different than the human shoulder. Still not... Compared to the size of the dinosaur, the arms are still not that large. Open the fingers here. Each one has those little pads. You can see how, how humans have them. Or basically just like the different sections of the finger. The inside finger here has the largest claw on it. So make that one a little larger. I'm gonna make this arm a little wider. So just go ahead and erase the lines we don't need. And then we can add in the claws. So this one's, of course, the largest one. The, a lot of scientists think we're how it caught its fish. Either its claws or its teeth. Both could definitely catch a fish. I actually got to see the new Spinosaurus skeleton that was uncovered a few years ago at a museum. It was on a travel display. It was very cool. I have a picture of me next to the Spinosaurus. But yeah, it was, it was in a swimming position. It looks very cool. It was like much larger than the T-Rex skeletons I've seen. I haven't seen Sue yet. I would like to in Chicago. The largest Tyrannosaur ever discovered. That's like one of the things I really like to do. So I'm going to do the other arm here. I'm going to just shade it in a bit more. Three claws here. Three fingers. I often say claws when I mean the fingers and claws for both of them. Put the claws in there. I also, we're going to add the scales on top of the fingers here. Give it a little bit more shading from the other arm. 
I apologize if I'm getting my hand in the way. Some people comment that they can't see when I'm drawing because my hand gets in the way. And also, if you're wondering what these two shadows are, it's my tripod that I have my hand camera hooked up to, which holds it above my drawing pad, because that's the most convenient way I've found of doing drawing tutorials. Let's have the camera on the tripod. So we're going to put in the torso right now. The hip will be right about there. And the sail, of course. Just gonna make it outline because we want to get the sail right. That's the signature body part. The Spinosaurus. I think T Rex's signature body part is its tiny hands, even though they're like not that small compared to a lot of other dinosaurs like Carnotaurus had very small hands. And the rest of the Tyrannosaur family. At least most of them had hands just as small as T Rex. But then the public is usually the people who are not that interested in dinosaurs, they don't really care about the other species. The other relatives of T Rex. So we're gonna put in the spines here. And when I went to see the skeleton, they don't actually look like spines, they just look like tall spinal... Um, like by spines, I envision like spikes, but they're not at all like that. It's more like just bone, regular bones that are not even spiky at all. So make them a little wavy. Here looks like a little mountain range almost. That curves down here. So that's pretty good. I might have made it a little too tall, but that's okay. We'll just erase it. We do some of it here. Also, I messed up right about here. So if you want to show me your artwork, I know I say this in a lot of my videos, but I have an uh, online community on Google Plus where you, you can post your artwork. And not many of you do it, but like once you do, I'm really happy for you guys because it's really fun to see. Like if you do the Spinosaurus, I would love to see your result. I'm sure it's very beautiful and then I could if you post it on my Google Plus community which is called Dinosaur Art it's just, I'm the top one that pops up if you search Dinosaur dinosaur Art so I would appreciate that because I always wonder what how people's drawings turn out when they draw one of my videos So we're just going to add some shading here to the sail. There are lots of different speculations on what Spinosaurus might have used its sail for. Whether for like heating or cooling, I've heard that. Or display during mating or something to do when it's in the water, I don't know. Everyone can have their own theory because no one's sure. They haven't seen a Spinosaurus. But we have a pretty good idea of what it looks like because of all the fossils that have been found. So right now we're going to put in a little more detail in the torso. Maybe add some rib marks here. The shoulder will go up right about there. I 
I'll just add some rendering here. A little more shading. The hip bone is right about here. Got quite thick legs. I like working off skeleton when I, when I do drawings of dinosaurs to make it really accurate. Because a lot of times people exaggerate the way some dinosaurs look, but I like to get it quite precise, even though, like, there's lots of old Spinosaurus skeletons, but it's hard to find an accurate modern stance one. So I have another pencil here, it's a more of a shading pencil that I like to use. It's much quicker for shading than my other mechanical pencil, even though I would, if I had to pick one pencil, I'd definitely pick my mechanical pencil because this one does not do very fine work. But it does shade quite nicely. I use it every once in a while, almost never in my YouTube videos, but I'm using it today. So that looks pretty good. Right now we're going to focus on this leg, try and get it to look good. Put the knee line right about there. a little bit more rendition on this thigh. I did a full body T-Rex drawing last year in December. And it's the full body drawings are always very fun, but they're also a little harder to get very accurate. Because if you're doing a dinosaur from a different angle then you can hide parts of it, but from this one you have to draw the entire dinosaur. Like a lot of times I'll be drawing, I'll hide the feet in the grass as a way to not to escape drawing the feet, because I really hate drawing dinosaur feet. They're rather difficult. So I'm going to put some renditions here on the very muscled calf the Spinosaurus. The heel is going to be right about here. With the foot extended down here. But I will prove to you guys that even though I don't like drawing dinosaur feet, it's still possible. So yeah, you just put in the Claws give them a little color. Then I like to put the scales on top of the toes, like so. Put a little shading between the toes there. Also give some padding to the feet here. It's look like it's in a hurry to go somewhere. Maybe it's chasing after Alan Grant in <laughs> Jurassic Park 3. I think I thought Jurassic Park 3 was pretty good. It's not my favorite. It's actually my least favorite of the Jurassic movies. But I thought they did an okay job with it. I think they may, should have made it a little longer. It's by far the shortest of the three Jurassic Park movies and the and Jurassic World. Dr a lot of my friends liked Jurassic Park 1 more than Jurassic World, but I like Jurassic World a lot more. Mainly just because it has Chris Pratt in it. He's like one of my favorite actors, so. And of course the dinosaurs looked more real in Jurassic World. But actually, I was when I watched maybe because I was I was I was younger when I watched Jurassic Park one, but that was for me the most scary one of all three of them. 
just had a lot of tension, especially the scene in the kitchen with the kids and the, the lost raptors. I thought that was a really cool scene. It had me like on the edge of my seat. Well, this foot will be lifted up. We'll actually be able to see all three claws here. And we'll carefully put the scales on the toes. Like so. And we'll add some shading. the shading pencil and shade this one most of the way. A little lighter shade than the stomach though, because we want that to stand out. Now we'll erase the lines we don't need from the original outline. And it's also good to put like a little ground beneath this one, the drawing. To give it a shadow, basically. I'm just going to use this pencil because it spreads the lead around faster. Keep on meaning to look up what, like I call it lead, but stuff in pencils nowadays is not actually lead. It's a different substance. I just can't remember what it was, what it is they put in pencils nowadays. See how the feet and legs look pretty good. Now we have to move on to the tail. Get that done. It would be really cool to pen this drawing in. I'm afraid that would take too long. When you pen a drawing in, it looks much better. You can take time to put more detail. I might do a part two, I'm not sure. Probably not, but you can definitely finish your drawing on your own. Just gonna clean up the tip the tail here. Tail is quite simple, you just put a line through the middle. Just continue some shading the bottom here. So yeah, I hope you guys are happy with how your, your Spinosaurus has turned out. I think mine looks okay. Not my best drawing, but still very fun. Full body Spinosaurus from Jurassic Park 3. And it looks pretty real pretty realistic. Let's give it a little bit of modification. Lines right about here. So if you have not checked out my channel, please do so. Subscribe and like this video if you liked how it turned out. And feel free to leave a comment on what dinosaur you think I should draw next, because I do read all the comments. And I have a list of things that I'm planning to draw in the future on my channel so yeah please leave a comment and I will read it and try and fulfill your request in time usually not right away so now all we have to do is sign our drawing that's one of the best parts about drawings you get to sign it get rid of that it's gonna put three D's which stand for Danny the Dinosaur Drawer. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. And share this video with your friends if you think they would enjoy it. I'm just going to add a little bit more refinement to make this drawing look extra good. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.